All right, so we're looking at Excel 3.6. For this one, we have a coffee company, and you can see that you can add some colors, some pictures, so we'll get into how to do that later. But for now, let's practice using this invoice, and we'll do some formulas to help the store owner, um, Cynthia, figure out some information. So first we need to enter, enter the order number, so 45676. It says the date, so you have two functions or more that you can choose from. You can either say equals now, all right, that's the date and time, or you can say today. Again, that'll give you the date. So you want to do a formula instead of typing the number. The customer, so the billing information we're looking at is for Edwina Copeland. And you're typing in her information. When you get to the shipping information, we can make references. So instead of typing it again, I'm going to say equals and reference where I can find the customer's name. Same with the address. And so that way, if we change something over here, so if I change this to 4725, notice it changes automatically in the shipping. So let me change that back. Now we're going to enter in some information for what she's purchased. So do a double check, make sure you've typed in the information correctly. And now we get to some formulas and functions. So it says in cell F19, I need to test whether the order quantity in cell D19 is greater than zero. So I'm going to say if, and I'm checking if, let's see it says D19 is greater than zero. If it is, I'm going to enter in whatever this times, so D19 times E19 is. Otherwise, I'm not going to answer everything, anything. And we're going to drag that down all the way, just in case someone in the future orders more. And then it says in cell 26, we're going to do the sum of everything, all the totals. In F27, I'm going to do another if formula. So if, and it says based on the customer status, so status is preferred. So if that one equals preferred, all right, it's going to be a discount. And then if not, it's going to be zero. And I'm going to change that to a percent. Discount total, that is going to be the subtotal minus 10% of that. And then for 49, we're going to do another if. So we're saying if the total is greater than or equal to 200, then the answer is zero, so no shipping. But if it's less, then it's going to be 5%. So we'll say 0.5 of the discounted total. And we're going to calculate. So this is going to be the total plus the shipping. And we want to make sure this prints on one page. So I'm going to come to page layout, scale to fit, and we're going to keep it as a portrait. There we go.